How you doing, fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here, and if you already heard, AMD had some leak benchmarks on the 7700X, and it is performing faster than the 5800X. So Chris Mizo, is this leak benchmark real of the 7700X? And I do have to say this, it does come from a website called Billy Billy. If you haven't heard of it, it's from a influencer from that website, similar to like how YouTube is, but he is known as EP or extreme player. So the leak comes from him and from his benchmarks, he pulled some very interesting figures. So EP had a score of 773 for a single core processing and for multi-core processing, he had a score of 7,701. This is some great news because it shows at least 26% performance increase compared to its predecessor, 5800X. So where did these scores exactly come from? And that's a great question. These were benchmarked from Cinebench R20, which is a well-known for challenging processors when it comes to rendering. It is an older model. We're up to up to Cinebench R23, and I'm personally curious to see what it would score on the newer software, if there would be any type of change. But until it actually gets released, we could actually get some details. I would love to test it for myself. I would love to challenge it up against the Intel i9-12900K that I currently have. So we all know that Intel will be releasing their new 13 series processors in direct competition for AMD's newest Zen 4 processors. Intel's 13th generation i7-13700K benchmarks on Cinebench R20. Believe it or not, in single core testing, Intel's 13700K, it scores 814 in single core processing and 11,243 in multi-core processing, which ranges about a 25% increase over AMD's 7700X. And it seems like it's already performing better in multi-core processing. Single core processing, it's a little bit better, slightly better, but not by much. So this kind of gives you an idea how serious Intel is taking the competition, how badly they want to beat AMD, how much better it does in performance cores and efficiency cores. And the most interesting thing is, it seems like this Raptor is nothing to play around with. But again, this is one person that is testing it. This is EP from BillyBilly.com that is doing these performance benchmarks. Once everyone has their hands on these chipsets, including myself, I really want to challenge it to see exactly how much of an improvement it can be over another processor. Because the thing about AMD's processors, they're very focused when it comes to gaming, especially when it comes to AMD's 3D vCache. And it still can perform better just because that is their edge. That is what their focus is. And that's what helps their processing power. And remember, this is not the final results. More than likely, these are still part of type results and the final product or the finished product could actually be different. What really makes this interesting with Intel's i9-13900, it has eight performance cores in two different sectors, and it also has eight efficiency cores, which totals out to 24 cores. And unlike its predecessors to the K series, it actually has a TDP of 125 watts compared to prior non-K processors. But more than likely, you're probably gonna want the K if you're looking more for the performance side because that's just what enthusiasts are looking for. But if you're on a budget, that's perfectly understandable because you can always upgrade your CPU in the near future. It is getting heated between both sides both AMD and Intel, which processor are you having your eyes on? I'm very interested to know what you're interested in. Whatever processor that you choose, whether you're team red or team blue, let me know in the comments right down below. If you know anybody who is interested in videos just like this about PC and tech, make sure you share this video with them. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not part of the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And if you want all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here, as this is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.